As Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has called a federal election for 21st May. Mr. Morrison's ruling coalition holds 76 seats in the House of Representatives. That's the minimum needed to retain power. And there is more in this report. Polls suggest there will be a change of government with the opposition Labour Party led by Anthony Albanese tipped to take office. However, in the last election, the centre-right Mr. Morrison won despite most polls predicting otherwise. Mr. Morrison announced the date after talks with the Governor-General in the capital, Canberra. Elections always are a choice, and it's a choice between the strong economic management and financial management that we've been able to demonstrate through the biggest economic crisis we've seen since the Great Depression, getting unemployment down to 4%, saving 700,000 jobs through JobKeeper, retaining our AAA credit rating, and of course the biggest economic turnaround in the budget of over $100 billion in the last 12 months, which means we've been able to deliver that cost of living uh, pressure relief right now at the fuel bowser. But Mr. Albanese, pointing out Mr. Morrison's own deputy prime minister, called him a hypocrite and a liar. So what I was not going to end, enter into as, as an auction in terms of, uh, you know, the Tasmanian unemployment rate and the various rates that are put forward. I'm happy to, happy to know that the last time I filled up, uh, petrol was $2.20. It's up to people to ask whatever questions they want. Um, Andrew. What's the national unemployment rate? National unemployment rate at the moment. Mr. Morrison is the first leader to serve in full term in office since John Howard, who won four elections before losing to Labour's Kevin Root in 2007. Since then, what observers call the cool culture of Australian politics has led to a series of short lived premierships. Mr. Morrison's Liberal left is defending a one seat majority. Even though it has won seven of the past nine federal elections, it may be hard-pressed to do so again, say political analysts. In recent weeks, the Prime Minister has faced accusations of being a bully and once sabotaging a rival's career by suggesting the man's Lebanese heritage made him less electable. Mr. Morrison has denied the allegations. But despite the most recent polling putting Labour ahead, Mr. Albanese has called his opponents the favourites, noting his party has only won government from opposition three times since World War II.